wise person is the person who finds what they lost in childhood and regains it. When you fail, you don't die. You actually gain knowledge and experience. Every time you five, four, three, two, one, you push yourself to try. You gain a little bit of competency for the next time you're gonna do it. And every time you gain a little bit of competency, your mastery goes up. And that's when you start to feel more self-assured. Never trust your fears. They don't know your strengths. Whatever it is, you don't wanna get up in the morning to work out. Yeah, it's hard. Sometimes I wanna sit there, hit that snooze button and go right back to bed. Wanna be comfortable or you wanna be great? What do you wanna do? Self-confidence, you build that by preparation, by doing, by working, by moving forward. Thinking will not overcome fear, but action will. Your next level of greatness is based on your confidence in yourself, your belief in yourself, your value in yourself. This is a time to rethink your life and look in the mirror and say, what is it I need to do differently? Because the person I'm looking at, the man in the mirror, the woman in the mirror, that won't get it. It doesn't matter where you are in life. It really doesn't. Because the great thing about life it's always your next move. Your next move that counts. No matter where you are, you could change your life if you want to. It's always your next decision. The devil is a liar. I don't know who talks to the devil. I don't. No, no. We have to step up and close that gap. that when you were a kid, you don't remember this, but when you were learning to walk, you fell an average of 17 times an hour. You actually learned to walk by falling. And so you learn everything when you fail. It's time to take care of business. You've got greatness in you. Success is a slow process. Confidence is the willingness to try. That's it. You can't have thoughts of wealth, like you can't talk wealth, think wealth, want wealth, but then you entertain poverty thoughts, right? You can't do it. It's like. All your thoughts have to be concentrated on that one thing, and if you do it, and you concentrate on it on a long period of time. The wise person is the person who finds what they lost in childhood and regains it. But the return is you don't fall backwards into childhood and unconsciousness. You return voluntarily to the state of childhood, well awake, and then determined to participate through truth in the manifestation of proper being. But through pain comes learning.